make sure it's on there, yep. Okay, um, yeah, I haven't played in a few days. Kind of annoying. Um, I figured it would have to update after the server, but it's so tired of playing. Letters and applications and stuff. There's a few jobs I apply. And receptionist, temporary work at H&R Block for the tax season and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, there's dragons coming. <laughs> um, I don't really care because I'm pretty much probably going to be in Morrowind for a long, long time. But um, yeah, let's play. Found out why I couldn't find the treasure chest because they respawned, so someone opened it, and it became an iron ore deposit. I should have taken the iron I got out of it, because I, it would have reset faster. But, oh well, I didn't know that it was, uh, you know, something that everyone, you know, instead of just the person. Like the player. Um... So yeah, hopefully I'll get work. Uh, Fabian uh, and uh, Nicola from uh, We Are Chronic have been asking me for advice and stuff, so it's like, yeah. Um, I just posted a poll on Twitter, uh, twitter.com slash lifeline underscore server. Um, about how you prefer uh, pay to pay for uh, Sequels. about how sequels, which is, you know, ad supported and something that purchases. If you prefer to have the first chapter free and then pay if you enjoy the game for the rest of the story, or 50% be free and then the second part of the game you'd have to pay for. And that's what he, uh, uh, Nicola, like, Fabian just asked me, like, you know, how to word in English a few things. But, uh, yeah, so Nicola first asked me, like, li like they were thinking of having the first half of the game free and then the second half, you know, paid, and I said, no, that, that probably wouldn't be a good idea, because, no, he's out of the well, he's not taking a nap with his head stuck in the well. Um, but yeah, the, uh, seems to be lagging a little bit, but... It's the only thing I have on the internet. But yeah, the uh, main thing is that... Uh, like, if someone started a game, like, if it, even if it was, you know, explicitly stated at the beginning and on the, like, game store pages and stuff, that it was going to be only 50% free, still would have the, like, someone would be like, I sunk all this time into it, and then it, uh, you know, now it's asking me for money. And... I like your cat. Investigate that. Oh boy. And 
it's kind of like, um, like if the, only the first chapter's free, and it's like, you know, if I like this game, I'll pay for the rest. Which, I personally prefer, you know, to buy the game flat out. Especially where it's a sequel, because this, with the sequel you can kind of ask for more money flat out. Because it's kind of, uh, like, it's more for the people that have played this game, like, played the first game and... Because it's a direct sequel. I'm going to tell this person I like their cat. I don't know if you're in the voice channel, but I just want to say I really like your ginger cat. It's adorable. He or she. I hate freemium models, so I'm kind of like... I didn't realize it was three at first, I thought it was just two. That's like, yeah. <sighs> yeah we're gonna pop it up to here. I like hitting them with my shield. Uh, it's on. I'm gonna do the alchemy quest. Uh, kind of don't think it was here. I think it was. Uh, I think it might have been over here actually. Blow was gonna hit. Oh, lovely. They've probably taken what was here. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna leave them. Actually, what I should do is go to that, uh, steal some more, uh, soul gems. I should find out how to do buy an bag upgrade too. Um. Yeah, with the um like I don't like freemium at all and I don't like microtransactions, especially how fucking microtransaction um lifeline universe was like pay per chapter pay um like for premium choices in the story you can't replay the chapter unless you pay to replay it and you can't even reread what you played and it was all server based which is the real fucking kicker and then the last update before they which I should see if I can take this to there instead of having to walk real kicker was that they updated it but they updated it so it was like it needed the newer iOS well newer uh, operating system stuff and it's like you 
had this game. Most people didn't know it was that, like, that that had all of White Oak 2 in it. That's the only way you could play White Oak 2. It wasn't ever coming to uh, Lifeline Library. Like, why can't Look, I have... If you want to travel Pinky by Silk Strider, you have to deal with the fact that it's a giant insect. Now, where can I take you? My Silt Strider can take you to either Nysis or Vivek City. Ride smooth, and my creature's as gentle as a midday breeze. No, I don't want to go to Vivek City. I want to go steal soul gems. Um, I might use it to get back to Vivek City, though, because that's around where my alchemy quest is. <sighs> I should have figured out how to get actual natural water instead of getting it from bandits too. There's a griffin, I think. I'll go steal it from the men's all things. Uh, but yeah, like, like, so, like, they were ending in a matter of weeks. So the last update, they fucked up, you know, like, people couldn't continue playing unless they had a newer system and whatnot. Oh, hello. I was going to steal your soul gems. I'm going to hang out here till you leave again. Tens all things. Not men's all things. Um, or mine's all things. And the real thing was a lot... The thing with Lifeline is they, they ha it had a huge international community. It still does. But fans from all over. Like, in China, like, people even using VPNs to get onto the Discord server and stuff to talk to people. They have a huge, um, the Taiba Baidu, or however it's pronounced. They've made fan films. People in the Philippines, in Malaysia, in Thailand. People in South America. People, like, all over the world. Like in Israel and stuff like that. Like, we have so many. People, like international community members. So, it was good that, you know, it, the minimum it required would, was a, like Kit Kat. And that was good because, you know. People, like, that that's pretty much the most widely available Android, iOS, well, um, not iOS, but uh, operating system, like, version. Like, emulators, like, Nox and Bluestacks and stuff, like, until recently, we're only using the, uh, KitKat. So people, you know, it, it was easy for people, even if they couldn't, you know play it on a device, they could play it on an emulator. And I went the wrong way again. It's gonna go out the uh, top instead of to the south. Um, so yeah, the people, it's like... So to suddenly make it have to be online only, and not just, you know, online. It had to be a steady connection. So people, like, you know, on metered networks and stuff, um, and it would crash. Like the game would just disconnect and crash. So it was like to suddenly have it have to be online only, microtransaction. Like people, you know, like one of the good things about Lifeline was also, you know, often they would have it on sale for like some of the older games would be ten cents. Or they'd be like the free app of the week or something. And, uh, like, if you wanted, like, if you knew a friend, like, because of the community, you could give, like, I, like, I've done, I've bought, uh, Google Play, uh, cards and given the codes to people. Because, you know, like, so they could play the games. And, uh, like, you could do that. Like, so they could purchase it. But to have, like, everything so microtransaction and that's another thing. Like, with Nox, you can't use microtransactions in games like that. Like, 
I wonder what this... I wonder fish, actually. I wonder fish for a bit. This, these look promising out of the way here. This looks really promising. Did I miss it, or did it disappear? Oh, I don't have any bait. I sold my bait. Because I needed the inventory space. I'm taking my fish. Um, so yeah, the uh, pretty much they made it so it cut off pretty much all the community, like international community. off like a lot of people that like if they didn't have steady internet or whatnot or were using it like playing with the uh, emulators and it pretty much was just like fuck you to people that support your games for years <laughs> Even the games, like, a lot weren't text-based. And it ruined, like, the immersion of games. Level 8. Uh, I'm not crafting. Assassin armor. Oh, do I? I probably don't have the space, do I? Eat my raw fish. There. Oh, and I still don't have room. <sighs> that wasn't, um. Going the wrong way now, too. I, um. I'm compiling a video on my phone. I like Video Shop for that. Uh, Video Shop is um, it's a video studio for uh, Android. 
but what I like about it is it doesn't change the resolution of a file, like the aspect ratio and stuff, and um, the, sp the exported file sizes are really small. Hello, can you not see me? You look like Shredder. Take a picture of you. But, um, so yeah, the, the files are really small. So it's nice. No! Did they change the look of these? I, they don't look like they used to. No! Okay, we're gonna go deal with you first. Carrying gold if you're a uh, raider, or ex, like. Yeah, I don't see the rest of this tent city here. Um. So yeah, it, like, but the problem with video shop is it has to be the open app, or often it uh, will, you know, time out with uh, converting or importing. So that sucks. I'm finally, like I tried Nox with it, so I went through my, uh, I have, uh, when I've gone on museum studies trips, I've taken video and pictures and stuff, and I want to stick together for my uh, Cape Breton trip that I just, I was on last year, and I haven't done it yet, so I thought, oh, I'll use Nox for that. Nox can, uh, like, I just keep it open and that'll be it, but it didn't uh, work that way. Because it threw errors, that there, there was technical errors, and uh, that it couldn't convert. Because the device lacked encoders to convert. I'm not seeing the, uh... Place. Um, is that changed in the update that there's no longer like the three? Because that's the uh, regular um, Ashlanders, not the, uh, the exiles. Anyway, I'm not going that way. I'm not dealing with these petroflies. Oh, oh, you thought about it, didn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well. Captain's gonna run away. Um, so yeah, Lifeline, like... Uh, I hate it, Lifeline Universe. I felt so bad for the people that wrote stories and stuff for it. It was so full of bugs, too, like... Uh, my last game I played in it was uh, Prisoner 6. And... I did the, you know, no killing anyone route. And, uh, very end of the game, it, like, I, I got the achievement for, uh, you know, going through the game without killing anyone, but the, uh, game, like, the characters and stuff, like, um, Six's girlfriend was like, yeah, you've killed someone, and I can't live with that. So it's kind of like, like, it felt like such a ripoff. I kept replaying that one chapter and like, I even saved up, um, like, because every two hours, uh, four hours at the end, uh, it was given, it used to be once a day you get freebies. And then, like, the last update added after, um, every four hours. 
you get a one gold coin, which you could then exchange for crystals. I'm still using my soul trap, even though it's like I don't have any uh, soul gems because I want the um, you know the whole uh, level up my soul magic. I can start using the passive version. Yeah, I don't fucking get it. Where the hell are the other Ashland? Like the Exiles. I know I'm going too far this time. I'll have to look again. Um, but yeah, it was such a ripoff. It like <sighs> the game itself wasn't my type. I like the characters, some of the characters, um, but I didn't like, like I love Temple, Temple is great, oh here we go, um, I think, maybe, yeah, I guess it was War Claws. Summoning bears. Oh, they ran from me. Okay. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Um, so, like. <sighs> felt like such a ripoff at the end to like have played, you know, non-violent, uh, not murdered anyone, like directly, I'm sure, you know, the, unleashing the bear caused some deaths and stuff, but it wasn't, you know, my character didn't, you know, press the kill switch on uh, the Mirror King and stuff, like, I didn't do any of the, you know, really violent actions. So then for the game to be like, oh yeah, you did. So I saved up the, uh, like, um, like gold to exchange for crystals so I could try the, uh, fucking, see if the premium choice, because that's what I was worried about, that the premium choice would be how to get the best ending. Because I wouldn't have put it past it, because you didn't... Oh, I think I'm going to have to fight these ones. Oh, should have interrupted. These, this was the exiles, but there's a different. Take your gold, search your coffer. Spicy beet salad. That sounds really good. Hopefully, I used like the premium choice because I like. I wouldn't have put it past that. That would have been, you know, how to. Uh, get the best ending, but it wasn't. Didn't matter. What's Jack? Oh, didn't ask me to bind it. I don't like that that much, actually. It kind of plays into, like, the...
I like that. Yeah, I don't like the, uh... I think there's more in that other one. Yeah, a lot of the games... They... There was, like, the disconnect, even the text-based ones, there was a, always a disconnect because, you know, the timers, or everything was quick play, nothing was, like, real play, like, real-time play, which was the whole, you know, purpose of, uh, like, like why Lifeline did so good was the real-time aspect. Thank you for that. Um, some more in here. <sighs> I thought there was more. Like everything was quick, like fast play. Like even um, oh man, um, I played the uh, romance one. It was a terrible. I only played one chapter, but it was so terrible. Um, it rents so fast because it was all fast play. It just was like zoom, 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 zoom down the screen. And uh, so yeah, that was terrible. But it's really ruined connection to the characters. Especially since a lot of the games would uh, play it as. Oh, there's. Oh, God, it's a coffer. Um, would play it as you were playing a role instead of like. Another thing with Lifeline is you play yourself. It's one of the things I didn't like about Chronic uh, XIX. Um, just because, you know, the whole, you were placed in the role of, like, a scribe, and, you know, actually, like, I thought there was, like, two soul gems in town. I thought there was, like, or two at the camp. It seems to me I got, like, a bunch by stealing them. Oh, I remember uh, that quest in the Mages Guild in uh, Bolivia where I had to get like the Black Soul Gems, Just go and steal the evidence of crap. Um, Nick socks. I don't know where I'm going. Just one right now. Go discover you are or whatever it is. In a lot of the games weren't text based, they were uh, like story based, which really took away from stuff. Oh, there was two! That's what the problem was. I thought there was only one. I was wondering where I was getting damage from. I had 
no stamina. So yeah, they re it really limited it because you could only have like one or two lines of text per page instead of like being all text based. And the, uh, the like illustrations were very limited. Um, like even a lot more like less so than uh, like visual novels. And the uh, like. They were often broken, like the text would be really like light on a light background or so should I just go like all the way around? No, this is where I want to go. The red exile camp. Oh, hello. I've come to steal your soul gems, is what I did. And there was the premium choices, which was the worst fucking thing. Um, like, and it often would give you the better ending, like, if you made the premium choice, if you paid for the better ending. It was really fucked up. And one game, which ru really upset me, um, one story was written by the previous, uh, Lifeline uh, lead producer, and her story it ended with. Uh oh, I didn't want to take that. Let's see what the ten what level that is. Um, it ended with having to pay for a premium choice, like to end the chapter. Not even you know. Like, you didn't get anything out of it, you just got, you had to pay to finish the, the like, chapter. I thought there was, like, the random heart with a knife in it. Take the dagger. Uh, yeah, I want to see what level that tenature health was. Level seven. Uh, yeah, we'll go fill these soul gems now. Uh, I'm so but yeah, Lifeline Universe was terrible. It, it was either spamily promote it, like it got so spam like promotion that it got shadow banned uh, from Instagram's search and stuff, like... Calmberry. And, uh, like, the whole, like, Lifeline Universe hashtag got banned from being searched for spam. Or whatever. I'll move 
the um That was two attacking me. Uh yeah. Uh where are you? I have no fucking clue where you are. soul gem that I just stole from you. <sighs> but then they just like suddenly went silent. Like no talking about it on social media. Like people would have probably, more people would have tried it if they knew all of White Oak 2 was in it and Bad Astronaut and stuff, but instead it was kind of like, and it really pissed me off with Bad Astronaut. Um, because they tried to play it like, like erasure of uh, Dave having written the originals because they, they called it like this game that uh, like this world that uh, Caitlin Combray had written so, you know, they just what I seem to be running it, but... Hello. Okay, I'll go right back. Check my phone, see if I can find it. Oh, hello, Alit. <laughs> I was that close to level 8. Yeah. And they've kind of like dropped off. They still get like tweets like, are you dead and stuff. And it's like, it's really depressing. I just keep uh, tweeting my, uh, like uh, the thread from the like, server account like on what we know now so far because it's like there's really nothing like oh that was actually a player I thought that was uh, one of the uh, ones the mercenaries outside yeah there's nothing I can do game about the level 8 rewards. I don't really care about the level 8 rewards anyway. Except for the uh, little bit of uh, stamina. But now like there's no access to content which is what I feel bad about. Um, you can't, like, access the, uh, stories anymore, because they were all server-based, and that went down November 20th. Morning of November 20th. And, so, like, no one can play, and there was, like, no announcements except for, you know, in-game. That took to the Zendesk article, which they weren't even advertising, like... They replaced the whole 3 Minute Games website with the Lifeline Universe Zendesk. Everything's like been removed just to make room for the Zendesk. Zendesk is getting like randomly updated, but it's not, you know, updated, updated. It's just saying like updated like three hours ago. And 
Yeah, it, it just has the announcement that it's going down. It hasn't even been updated that it's down. The only things that work in uh, the app now are the store section. You can still buy stuff. Can't use it for any content. The credits page works. The fire's warm and the roof. It still sends out push notifications to play to finish your games, even though you can't access any. Um, you can still get your free coin every four hours. And um, yeah, the player page still works. But I don't know if you like a logout or whatnot, if you can uh, Sell that. Let's sell that because I'm not really using Magicka right now. I got uh, an empty soul gem too. I didn't realize I still had one empty. Let's see where I can buy a bag upgrade. Oh, it finished compiling. Um, yeah, I went to uh, Cape Breton in the spring last year, late May, and it was... I liked it. I liked walking around Sydney. Actually, I liked walking around Sydney better than Halifax. Like. It was really easy to get around Sydney. Um, but the, uh, yeah, I got, I'm gonna just check, get this sorted. I have, um, I bought my cat's three cat toys when I was in Halifax as a souvenir. And I um, just wanted to make sure that those were added to the clip. I took pictures of my babies with each one. So, yeah. That's why I bought my big suitcase for Christmas, is because of the whole. Uh, uh, cost of the. It, my. I have two suitcases, two uh, like pink ones I bought when I was out west for university, and one's are just a carry-on, and it's a small carry-on, so it's not even a big carry-on. Um, and then I have a regular size suitcase, but I want a big suitcase, like, because I had a hard time getting it closed in the spring, like, because I had four days of winter clothes, because it was snowing even though it was the end of May where I went. So I needed like, and I was like, it, it was the biggest course. It was interpretation one, public programming. But they, she wanted so much stuff. Like, she had this additional reading, and it was like this book from the Smithsonian and stuff. And it was um, strangers or guests, um, like how to refer to your patrons if you want to refer to them as uh, like strangers. Like just treat them like or customers, or guests, like, 
different distinctions and different ways to set up your museum um, or historical place or any business really to um, like accommodate different learning styles, different what different people want to see. Um, the setting of your place, like an art gallery, is more like would be more tranquil. Like people go to look at the art, like some teaching, but mostly people go to admire stuff. But like. Um, like a historical place they want to know about the place rather than look at like admire it wander around in their own time um like so you'd have like more information available and interpreters or docents yeah i love the <laughs> my training um so yeah we had a big thing to read on that i like the end though i liked um the like appendix at the end or whatever, like, um, the amendment, because it had a bunch of different, um, let me just look up big upgrade, Morrowind, yes. um, so yeah, the, um, uh, like, it would have, like, what people found, like, liked about certain museums and stuff, like, one was that he, like, to be able to sit in the like, um, like atrium, square area, like on a bench and just look at statues. It was so peaceful. Oh, I. But apparently, you can get a bank too. Yeah, and get 10 slots for 400 uh, gold, another 10 for 2,000, and another 10 for 5,000, and the fourth 10 for 20,000. Like 10, 11, that, like that. <laughs> oh, I got a horse. I don't see about banks too. If there's any in Merlin, there's probably one in Beck City. Might not be one in Belmore. Um, but yeah, so it was a lot of stuff I had to take. Like examples of press promotional and program work I did. So I took a lot of Camp Lifeline. I took stuff from the the James House, like uh, the Centennial, uh, the Cypress Walk, and the. Uh, like Bash and Betty's Bridgetown, stuff like that. Um, go check bank. Because if I could find a bank, I'd just cram a bunch of those extra stuff in it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go back to. Uh, the Vex City and go do that the rest of that quest. Uh, chest symbol on the map. Yeah, I don't think this is a big enough city, but we'll check. I'll do a double check. So I had my laptop, my books and stuff, heavy winter clothes, and I took extra clothes because it was supposed to rain, and my experience is I took enough clothes for the four days because usually when I travel I like will want to rewear my pants and stuff and like, you know, I'll make do, but... Uh, there might be one in town, Gerald, but it's... No. 
what I'm going to do, um, check the Vex City. Yeah, there's a banker in Vivek City. We'll go back to Vivek City then. We'll deposit a bunch of this shit. Um, but yeah, the, uh... Oh, it's just like... So I got the bigger suitcase to drag stuff more. Instead of worrying the zipper was going to smash. And then, uh... If I hear any more insults, my silt strider can take. I don't care that the insect. Okay, I'm gonna head off to bed soon. Try to deposit the stuff. There's that quest. to um went to Yarmouth. I got s it rained and rained and rained and I got so wet and it was going sideways so that was also when I was um okay. That's also when I first it's just I guess it's just not loading. I was concerned. I was like, <laughs> um, everyone all like black textures, avatars. Uh, go the wrong way. Yeah, it's my I'm always walking sideways. I guess that this is the bank. The Red Mountain? Oh, that's just noise and smoke. Nothing to be concerned about. I'm almost certain it won't erupt during our lifetime. Lord Vivek in the Tribunal would never allow such a thing. So I could deposit one, but I can't deposit two. Um. Sixty spaces. I keep my st stats on me. I, oh, I can put my good travels invitation to more one. Oh.
Oh, I can uh, spawn to this too. I should have actually put everything in the hold. I must choose a reward. I'll take the leather worker satchel. A mud crab. Hello, mud crab. Do you have any goods to sell? Huh? My big hands. They didn't look that big in the uh, like character creation, but now that I'm uh, <sighs> sell it. I don't have a use for because I'm not really blacksmithing or crafting or anything. Um, Concerned. It's a dire wolf, but oh, 
left seemed to mean again. Tempted just to take the striders, the silt striders, to far more than the Vivek city instead of wandering around in the. I don't know where there's uh, something over there. Let's we'll see what that is. I might not like what it is, but we can see. These guilt skill line. Fuck. Um. I don't know what the fuck this is a musical instrument, I guess. Some of these I just screenshot and send to Mertz. Um. I've seen something go by my vision. I'll take those see what they look like. Yeah, some shit went down here. Yeah, some shit went down here.
I'm pretty sure their house got like broken into and shit. Just like random seasoning. The melons in the melon bats, just a regular melon. Yeah, with Lifeline server, there's a Lifeline community which didn't joke about. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, some shit went down here. I really have to wear helmets with more hats because I think they look dumb on my character. Oh yeah, that's the corn cover. Yeah, I love corn so much you have like it in your room. Cover it just for corn. Or... Yeah, there. yeah, there's not as much here as I thought there'd be. It's a really big place for not much here. I haven't come across the master's body yet either. I'm watching a lot of Doctor Who, so the master. You know. Anyway. This is Master um, someone's house. Yeah, I don't know. Some shit went down here. Got a few things out of it. Probably a place that a chest spawns. <sighs> so 
gonna go around the property again. There's still one Ravager there. Let's double check and there wasn't something I missed. I'm gonna go attack the... Well, I think there's two. I don't have enough power to take down both. Just like get out of dodge because he's like Seen it or what? Thieves thing. Okay, I'm guessing this is not the place I want to be right now. I don't see no fees, but fees. That's gonna be a big thing. few days, probably longer than that, because she's so obsessive, she's really fucked up with stuff like that. I was like, I'm just trying not to get pneumonia. Because <sighs> my doctor retired, I can't get my inhaler. Can't go there yet. Hmm. She reminds me of a lot of that other place. I see the way shrine on my thing. I don't know if I activated it yet or not. There's more places to check out. Let's see what that aura seer looking place is. 
I didn't honestly think that that was good enough. Well, you can go for me, bro, but I'm not gonna really care. Yeah, I'll see what this place is. Place for yeah, there's too much shit here. We're gonna be dead. Yeah, we're gonna revive at the Way Shrine. I have to ask Martin about that place. The thing is, I don't. Like, yeah, I could look it up myself, but it's like. Scarlet Judge. Keep your weapons sheathed, citizen. The situation is well in hand, I assure you. Bandits, I wish all my work were this simple. I'm investigating some irregularities in Suran's justice system. The town's lead constable, Marshal Hularan, may be arresting people without cause. I pray that I'm wrong, but I could use an ally. So you'll help? Excellent. I need evidence, testimony. Many of the Marshal's prisoners are toiling on plantations outside Suran. Talk to them, gather some proof of Halaran's corruption, then meet me at Ula's Manor. The plantations are crawling with Ironhound mercenaries. I'll draw them away as best I can, but do hurry. They won't leave their posts for long. Ah, you must be a recent arrival. I am called the Scarlet Judge, vanquisher of evil and guardian of the oppressed. I am this island's protector, bound by oath to avenge injustice and safeguard the helpless. No, my oath is of a personal nature. I revere the three, but my relationship with the rulers of Vardenfell is... Uh, complex. Ordinators are bound by restrictive temple law. It makes them slow to action, clumsy. I have no such restrictions. I've been called savior and menace, hero and villain. If you'd call me a vigilante, then so be it. My only concern is the lives and welfare of those I protect. Wherever Vardenfell's laws cannot or will not act against injustice, there you will find me. Sounds a bit like Nicholas Courtney. Cold-hearted mercenaries. Swords for hire without virtue or scruple. They serve the plantation owners and I suspect Marshal Hularan. The Iron Hounds will hurt anyone for the right price. The plantation owners pay them very well. Other than the fact that she's in charge of the constabulary, this is a Redoran city. House Redoran demands certainty in all things. Laren's deputies won't sanction an arrest unless there is overwhelming evidence. We have no proof, only suspicion. Yes, precisely. House Redoran does not suffer this kind of misconduct lightly. Once we prove Laren's crimes, the house will turn against her. I like this guy. We'll see. He reminds me of, um... Uh, that guy from Fire Emblem Arthur, I think his name is. Or, um... There's a character in, um... Oh... Not you too! Fantasy this life. is ridiculous! I'm sorry, Talenra, but my wife insists we try a real mage. There goes another client who's known me for years. Not a proper mage, they say. Rubbish! By Vec, if I get my hands on that fetcher from Somerset, I'll wring his scrawny golden neck. Just watching my business fall into ruin, 
People used to rely on you to heal their children and mend their injuries, but now it's all Menel Dinian this and Menel Dinian that. Damned guild lackey. He's even pinning up signs to slander my work. The Cretan's saying I'm not a mage, but I am. I just happen to love alchemy. He must think there's a lot of coin to be made here. The fool. If I get my hands on him, I'll... Sorry. Dark elf temper. It's just that this business is my life. Thank you for helping me, Sarah. Honestly, it means a lot. The rascal's name is Menel Dinian. You'll find him sliming around that new shop of his. The gauche high elf clinic just south of here. I thought a fellow mage would have more respect. Oh, he started out all sweet. He invited me to tea, asked about my business, even brought a copy of my latest book, Tea and Tazan for Aches and Pains. I can't believe I fell for his act. I am. Quite highly ranked, too. Surprised? Not every Telvanni mage hides away in a mushroom. Many of us enjoy the company of our neighbors. Until they start abandoning us for some insufferable mages guild peacock. Bitch. <laughs> Alchemy teaches us the hidden potential of everyday things. Turning the ordinary into the extraordinary. People step over miracles all the time. Mushrooms that can ease a cough, or grasses that can mend a wound. Alchemy finds power in the mundane. <laughs> I doubt it. But my mother taught me I should always give people a chance to make amends. It helps ease the conscience after we wreak our revenge. My mother was a very colorful woman. What? Healers aren't permitted to deal out a bit of payback every now and then? I'm a dark elf. Grim talk is the official language of Morrowind, and vengeance is the national pastime. A shame, though. He is really quite handsome for an old man. Maybe I'll set them up together. I'll read this advertisement. Oh. Hmm. You bitch. When my father was a constable, he was respected. Now marshals run roughshod over us, and vigilantes make laughing stocks of us all. The old marshal worked with the constables. We handled the daily matters while he focused on the big picture. Marshal Laren set up a separate watch with her iron hound mercenaries. She's made us obsolete. Oh, this what's the judge of one of these trespassing the prison. Good nick socks. Not one that's trying to fucking kill me. Yeah, this looks I like the name of this quest, nothing to sneeze at. Unlocks advanced, it unlocks intermediate. I didn't realize about the stealing and the stealing and stuff, so I went to check the lock and I got thrown in jail, like, pretty much immediately after completing the tutorial. It's really pretty. Yeah, fuck you, I'm not gonna do this quest right now. 
it more. Like you don't practically pay me in soul gems, it's like I'm lazy. Yeah. Some ordinators. This place called Ian Saran, and that's Ald Sotha. Yeah. It has anything to do with Sotha Seal. Anyway, I'm not going back there. <laughs> oh, no. No, no. Fuck. I thought it'd be all cool and everything. I can't give you any money because it's not giving me the option to, you know, <laughs> talk to you. It only gives me that option to that one um, dark. Yeah, this place doesn't look too bad. Ah! Oh, stop. You're new in town, aren't you? Yes, I'd recognize your face otherwise. What brings you to Suron? Here to tour our idyllic plantations? Sample our redoran wines? Or are you looking for something more... <laughs> stimulating? Skies lit bright with magic's light And with magic it was born for all they stood on blessed ground when so her power came the rocks would yield what might they will all into Rennie's land sometimes i forget just how big budget Bethesda is for things like that can i talk to you with your cook i need a break Tell me you burnt the stuff and used your scale cream for butter. No. Do I look like someone you can speak to? This fan cost me more than your entire outfit. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised because I didn't buy any of it.
I run the finest establishment in all of Suran. Ask anyone here. Well, perhaps just anyone who's already smiling. It reminds me of uh, some character, like from like a Persona game or something. I can't think of. Uh... the wrong one. No, that's the work one. Bah, I'm drinking here. Bugger off, La. With that busybody Marshal Flaren and her iron hounds interfering with the watch, there's no work left for an honest constable. On the other hand, I guess we could use a vacation. Is how empty everything is here. Because it, it's. <laughs> Even Belmora, there's not many people. I'm gonna send, try to find out a YouTube video of that song and send it to Matt. Anyway, I don't think it's a good place to stop. Uh, um, 